the Lord's Prayer is the gospel pathway. If you have, if you have been impacted by the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ, you start and I start down the pathway, and that pathway is defined by this beautiful short passage of Scripture as the pathway that Jesus left for us who follow him in his gospel. And so each of the petitions of the Lord's Prayer are to us his disciples. And each of them mark an area that we're to confess or agree with God on every day as a need. And prayer is expressing how much we need the Lord. Your prayer level and my prayer level shows my awareness of how much I need him. When we pray, we reveal how much we realize how much God's help is necessary in our lives. The less we pray, the less conscious we are we need him. And the more we pray, the more we confess our need for God. But you notice the Lord's Prayer is plural. It's our Father. Give us. You see, what this is a description is not just me. See, that goes back to our me. It's our. As Christ's body, all of us equally need these areas to be focused on. And it's part of the way we minister to one another. When you see someone in need, when you see someone struggling, when you see someone that, that you look in the mirror and they're further back from the Lord, you know, because you're following the Lord. Remember Paul said, follow the Lord like I am? And that's what we tell other people to do. But we're looking and we're saying, <laughs> hello, what are you doing way back there? They go, I don't know what to do. You say, but we're following him the same way. And, and it's our Father. Let me reintroduce you to what we're supposed to be doing. That's what each of these petitions, and let me get into them, because following uh, the pathway means, number one, we learn what it means to worship God. And, and I said it last week, and I'll say it every week. Worshiping God has nothing to do with the lights. It has nothing to do with the environment. It has nothing to do with any of the accoutrements. It is not attached to music, although music is an element. But it's never attached to music. Worship is focusing my heart, my life, and responding to the true and living God. And I can respond to him at work. I can respond to him with my thoughts. I can respond to him with my voice. I can respond to him with anything. But it is a response to the true and living God as defined in the Scriptures. And that's what the first element is about. We follow the pathway of worshiping God. When we seek God as our Father, the one who is in heaven, the one who Jesus said already in chapter 5 up through where we are in 6 is the one sitting on the throne, the majesty on high, we have started to worship. When we stop every day to focus our hearts on who God is as our Father, and as we get focused on his character, that's the beginning of a life of worship.